Getting ready for calculus. Here's question number two. Consider the circle x square plus y square equals to 25. Find equation of the tangent line at x equals to 3. Now remember calculus is all about finding tangents and area. The part of calculus which we are going to do in this course is all about finding tangents. So wherever you have derivatives, limits and whatever, it's rate of change and tangents. So that is a huge topic to cover and your knowledge about tangents, rate of change should be excellent. So the part which you have done in advanced functions regarding tangents and rate of change or instantaneous rate of change, I'd like you to do that portion again, review it thoroughly before getting into calculus. So that is really getting started. Okay. Now this question is also not a very simple question. Consider the circle x square plus y square equals 25. Find equation of the tangent line at x equals to 3. So I'd like you to answer this question on your own. And here I'm trying to sketch and just remind you of what we are trying to do here, right? So, so basically, we have a circle here. And this circle has radius of 5, correct? So this circle has a radius of 5. Let me write 5 here. Minus 5, here, correct? So, so this is minus 5 and this is 5 for us and center is at origin O. And what we are supposed to do here is find equation of tangent line at x equals to 3. So if you put x equals to 3, you get 3 square and 25 minus 9, which is 3 square, will give you 16 and square root of 16 is 4. So we do have a point here, which is at 3, we have 4, right? So we have a point here, which is 3, 4. So at that point, we do have a tangent, right? So that is your tangent line. So tangent line is here, and we are considering this point, which is 3, 4, correct? So basically, find equation of the tangent line at x equals to 3 means find equation of this line. So I'd like you to do this question, and if you're struggling, you need to review the techniques to find equation of tangent line given different conditions okay now let me give you a solution here here is my solution so our old definition of tangent says that this line will touch the circle and the radius which in this case is from origin right the radius which is from origin will be at 90 degrees correct so that gives you a hint how to do this problem, correct? The radius should be 90 degrees. Other thing which you know, how are the slopes of this line, these two lines related if they are perpendicular? The slopes are negative, reciprocal. The whole idea of picking up this question is from my knowledge of, you know, this course and I've seen how students struggle is to remind you how Parallel lines have same slope and perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slope. So we'll use that concept to get the answer, right? So we'll first say, let's say this is my radius and let me call, our line is L and let me call this line as, let's say R, right? So, so we say slope M of our line R, the radius in this case, should be what? Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Think we have two points. One point is 3, 4, the other one is 0, 0. So slope, you remember, is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, right? Now y2 here is 4. 4 minus 0 over 3 minus 0, which gives us slope of 4 over 3. Now, what is the slope of our line, the tangent line? It is perpendicular to this radius. Therefore, slope should be negative reciprocal. So we say slope of our line L is negative of reciprocal. That means 3 over 4. So that is the slope of our line. And this line is passing through a point which is 3 comma 4. So basically now we have to find equation of a line which has a slope of minus 3 over 4 and it passed through the point 3 4. Correct? So, you can use uh, 
either y equals to mx plus b or the other equation to get the answer. So let's use y equals to mx plus b. So we will use y equals to mx plus b, right, to get the equation of this tangent line. So here we'll plug in 3 for x, 4 for y, minus 3 over 4 for x and calculate b, correct? So 4 equals to slope is minus 3 over 4 and x is 3 for us, 3 plus b, correct? Now we'll solve. So b is equal to 4 plus 9 over 4 is the value of b, which is 4 times 4 is 16 or let me write. 16 plus 9 over 4 is the value of B, correct? So that is the value of B, which is 25 over 4. So we get, let me write here. So it is 25 over 4. And therefore, the equation of line is Y equals to minus 3 over 4 X plus 25 over 4, correct? That is how we are going to get our equation. So, so you can get the equation like this. Now, the other method could have been y, y minus y1. You remember the other equation? This is slope intercept form, right? So alternate. We could use this equation. Y minus y1 equals to, that is rewriting the slope. So, m times x minus x1, correct? So, that could give you another equation or rather the same equation in standard form, correct? y minus y1, so plug in 4 here, m, you know, is minus 3 over 4, x minus 3. And then rearrange them and get your equation in standard form or even in that form. So, that, that was an alternate equation which could be used given point and slope, right? So, I think that's a good reminder of uh, finding slope of a line and then the equation of the line. Anyway, I'll recommend you to go through some of the examples and I'll put up some more objective type questions or multiple choice questions on this topic, which will help you review and get you ready for calculus. Thanks and all the best. I hope you're enjoying this set.